Hey, what's up, fuckers? Hey, if you're sick and tired of taking the same old photos, guy in a suit, guy walking in a suit, guy walking in the sunset with a suit, guy walking near a tram with a suit, walking through the sunset with with a puddle or something, well, whatever. If you're taking the same old kind of photos and you want, you know, you want to spice it up a bit, you want to change it up, you want a bit of emotion in your photos, you want a bit more movement. Well, I've got just a solution for your photos, and that solution is called panning. So what the fuck is panning? Well, we're gonna search that up right now. The basic idea behind panning as a technique is that you pan your camera along in time with the moving subject and end up getting a relatively sharp subject with a blurred background. Excuse your shot again. I don't know about you, but that was worded really fucking poorly. <laughs> I got bored as fuck reading that and my ADHD kicked in, so like, why don't we just go out and shoot and I'll just show you how to do it. Fuck. So I've come to the city tonight because obviously the city is the best place to take photos, especially at night time. At night time, that's when the colors start to pop and you can see the vibrance in all of your photos. Essentially, what we are shooting tonight is panning, like I said earlier. You want to grab your camera and you want to track a subject, whether it be someone on a bike or a taxi or a tram or a bus or whatever the fuck it may be, it doesn't matter, as long as the subject is moving. And you want to grab your camera, set your shutter speed to 1 50th or under, so it's technically going to be a long exposure. A handheld long exposure. Keep your shutter speed between 1 50th to maybe 1 4th of a second. I wouldn't really go any lower than that because then the images start to get a bit fucked. For the most part, your subject will be moving either left or right. So you want to make sure that you match the speed of your subject with your camera, which might actually take a bit of practice. Ah, fuck! I fucked it! Oh, this would be a good shot right here. Ah, fuck! I fucked it completely. Why is it so hard? <coughs> it's fucked. This is fucking insane, bro. Where do you ever see a sunset like this? Oh my God. I got some average ones, but I think I need to slow down my shutter speed because there's still not enough movement in the image. So we can get some better ones. Good, but the shadow casting right here, you see that shadow? It's just in the shot. So now I've got to do more photoshopping. Fuck! Okay, so what I found is that it's really hard to actually get the shot that I was planning in my head because I feel every time that I try and take a photo, I'm either not panning fast enough to track the subject or my shutter speed isn't correct. I think this all comes down to patience and I just gotta be patient until I get the right shot. Oh, that one's even better. Yeah. Check that out. Yes. Yeah, that one, yes, that, one, that, that one, one, that one, that one for sure. That one. That one. Those photos were a lot harder to take than I expected. I mean, I've done panning in the past, and I actually haven't done panning for quite some time, and I probably should have tested it out before actually doing this video, but I guess that's half the fun. I think at the start of the photo shoot, it was really hard to get a shot that I was happy with because one, I wasn't getting the right focus. I, I, I found that putting your camera on manual focus was helping quite a bit, but then also you had to consider what speed the subject was going and what shutter speed that you should shoot at. I found the best shutter speed for me was personally around 1 15th to 1 10th of a second. But some people like 
you know, if you're shooting at a racetrack, like race cars or something, you might want to shoot a bit faster because obviously those subjects are moving a lot quicker. But if you're shooting someone riding a bike or maybe in my case, a tram moving very slowly, I slowed my shutter speed right down to about one tenth, and that really got the shot that I was happy with, which is this one right here. Look at this shot. There's so much movement going on in this image, and it's not 100% in focus. Like, it could be a tiny bit better, but it's enough for Instagram. It's enough, it's enough to get that wow factor on Instagram, so I'm happy with that. The main thing I learned in today's photo shoot was patience. More than anything, it's just to be patient with trying to get the shot that you're happy with. You're not always gonna get the photos that you want, and sometimes when I imagine an image and then I go out to try and shoot it, it's not always a reality for me. Going out and shooting a panning photo definitely tested my patience as a photographer, and I think it's just a cooler way in general just to step up your street photography. If you're getting bored of taking the same images, definitely try panning. I would highly recommend giving it a shot. All right, that's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope I taught you something new. If you did like today's video, leave a like down below and help me out by hitting subscribe. But with that all said and done, I will see you next time.